Let's play some Sentinels. Oh, pickle fans, come on. <laughs> oh, you've been quoted out of context. You must be a famous person now. I am a famous person now. But we're gonna win. Unless the environment kills us. See, I could have waited and picked- We have damage, Dread Warlord boss! I did not think that would work out, but it did. Well done, team. Cliffland. Yep. How many cliffs are there in Cleveland? <laughs> there are in, in England, so that's... I can hear you. Jamie started mute. LOL. I will keep you entertained. Uh, I got nothing. Ask me, ask me no more questions. Tell me no more lies. Have you somehow muted your own personal you, like you didn't, you haven't sat on your mute button because I hear you. So it's not coming. It's not a problem there. I don't know. I'm taking a second. <clears throat> We're gonna play. An episode where Jeremy just mimes. He is pressing buttons, twi turning knobs. I can hear you now. We'll see the first person who says that they can hear Jeremy wins a cookie. Except they would just say that without actually... You need to tell them about the prize they would win so that they can claim it if you say it. <laughs> no, one has, no one wants a cookie, so... Well, if you can hear yourself on the Twitch, then. All right, maybe now no people can hear me? No one is actually saying they can hear you. I feel like, there we go. Thank you, Take Walker. One cookie <coughs> to Take Walker. <laughs> uh, yes, I had fixed it, and the streaming software could see it, but I hadn't made it live. That's uh, That was what the issue was. All right, so now we're finally here. Hot mics all around. Hot mics all around. So greetings, everyone. It's Tuesday at 7-ish, so it is time to welcome everyone to Sentinels Live. Uh, thank you for joining us around the digital tabletop while we play Sentinels of the Multiverse. The goal of these streams is always to have some fun while showing you how to play the game, as well as covering strategies that might help you win. Uh, that's John's department, not so much mine. Handle Labber does believe in civil rights for all and being as inclusive as possible, so comments or activity working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. If you enjoy the show, please do like, share, follow, and subscribe, and be sure to check out the other shows here at twitch.tv slash Handle Games. Um, I'll tell you the normal ones, and then we'll talk about what's happening next week. So, uh, Fridays at 6 p.m., we have Dolphins Dive, and then Sundays at 7 p.m., we have Tales from the Archive, all times are Eastern. And on Mondays at 7, we have On Deck with Pirate Savvy and Dover. Uh, and you can also join the Handle Labber Discord server. Just scroll down and find the Discord link, and you can join to chat and hang out and talk to people. <coughs> Excuse me. So this coming week, starting on Sunday the 14th. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. It is the Sentinels anniversary. Woo! Fourth anniversary of Sentinels of the Multiverse is next Tuesday, one week from today, but we're kicking off the party a couple days early. 
uh, starting with Zach on Sunday. Then we've got On Deck on Monday, Sentinels Live on Tuesday, uh, Crit Camp, which is a friend of some sort of friends of the pod, as it were. They're another streaming channel, and they're going to be uh, doing hosting duties on Wednesday. Then Jean-Marc is going to play some music for you on Thursday. And then we're going to close it all out with Lude Dolphin on Friday on Dolphin's Dive, uh, a new streaming show every day, Sunday through Friday. Uh, and we're going to be raising money for, if you click through to that link, you'll see Child's Play Charity. That's right. So we have actually worked with Child's Play Charity before. Um, if you don't know what they do, just click the link and, and you can read all about it. Uh, they do really excellent work. Uh, and we're going to be working with them again this year. So not only are we going to be doing sort of a telethon where you can donate yourselves, but we're also going to be doing a thing where every copy of the foil villain and foil hero packs that are sold during the uh, week-long celebration, $1 from every pack sold will also be donated to charity directly from us. Not 70 cents, you know, like, oh, for every dollar, we only get 70 cents from the stores. It's not like that. $1. We will send one shiny dollar. One shiny dollar. Foil dollar bill. Exactly. One ever so shiny and foily and reflecty dollar bill will be donated. Uh, in, in, in Fun fact, it, it will be a literal stack of singles. I'm going to drive to the Child's Play Charity uh, office and hand them a stack of singles. I'm not really going to do that. So, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, and to incentivize you, uh, those foil packs are actually going to be discounted for the first time ever. So uh, tell your friends. Tell them not to buy it yet, but to wait till next week. Uh, there's also going to be other sales and other discounts going on, uh, but we'll get to that um, later, like on Sunday, probably. We don't want to let the cat out of the bag too early. So yeah, uh, I think that's basically it. Yeah, we got the streaming events, we got the charity thing. Yeah, and it's our anniversary. Uh, check out that link to download the uh, commemorative wallpaper. And you can party with us all next week. I'm Jeremy, and you can follow me at Mr. J Handel. That's M-R-J-H-A-N-D-E-L. Joining me as always is John. You can follow at Migrant P, M-I-G-R-A-N-T-P. And you can always follow the company at Handelabra on Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube. And of course, you can always join our Discord by scrolling down and clicking the link. As we are the developers, you can always be sure to get some insight into the process and maybe see some stuff for anyone else. Uh, and the game does have a tutorial that covers the basics. We always do our best to explain exactly what we're doing, when we do it, and why. And usually we play multiple games in every two-hour episode. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and well as PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam, and always in good old analog cardboard and ink. Check out sentinelsdigital.com for more, for more info and to download the demo uh, absolutely free. All right, so uh, we're trying out some Twitch integrations this week uh, ahead of the big event next week. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is a um, uh, a poll on the screen. Right now it's picking just between two different things. Should we play a solo or a team game for game one? We'll give you another, oh, I don't know, another minute to lock your votes in, and then we will <clears throat> begin our first game. Danagro says, my friends are sick of them, hawking, sick of me hawking Sentinels to them. Uh, that's why we're making new games, so you can hawk new different games to them. What? Yes, that's right. We have actually, we've actually been in full swing now on Eon's End for a couple of weeks. Uh, stay tuned for more information after the anniversary about that. It is coming to Kickstarter November 5th. If you go to aeonsenddigital.com uh, and you can join our mailing list and follow our, our social medias and everything to get information about that. Jake Walker says, I don't see any poll. Where should I be looking? It should be right on the window. Now, it, that, to be fair, this poll might only work. No. It, it yeah, definitely it's not going to work like on, if you're watching on iPad or No, it, it says it does. Something. It says it does. Maybe not on TV, but it says that it is supported on component, panel, and mobile. So you should see it on mobile. If you're on mobile and you're not seeing it, I'm sorry. Is that mobile web or the mobile app, though? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Is it Twitch Picks? It is Twitch Picks. Nate Diggity Doggity, Ian's End has been available in Cardboard for, I think, two, three years now? The first Kickstarter for Ian's End was in 2016. Yeah, so like two years. Yeah. Based, well, I mean, yeah, the Kickstarter was two years ago and then like it came out, but... So yeah, it's available. You can buy it on the shelf. Yep. And they've got a ton of... like They've actually had three Kickstarters so far. There was one in 2016. There was one in 2017. There was one in 2018. Um, yep. and, and they're working on the next one. And they're, yeah, they're already working they on the next one. They just call it AE4. It's code name still. Nice. All right. So it looks like seven votes for solo and five votes for team. So it looks like we're doing solo. So now if I click that, does it turn it off? Yes. Oh, Takewalker says, I saw it and shut it off. <laughs> 
Maybe don't make it look like an ad. Oh, the Twitch desktop app? Oh, I see. Okay. Well, whatever it is, it looks like it just jumped up to 11 votes, but I just turned it off. So you probably sh probably won't be seeing. Maybe if I hit that button, maybe now. Shouldn't be seeing. But whatever it is, we're playing solo. So I will close that. Oh, I see. There's like a little thingy on the bottom. Prime subscription. Oh, look at that. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool stuff. We're learning all about Twitch because we're trying to get all kinds of cool integrations happening before next week. We're learning. We're learning. All right, so a single villain. I can just keep refreshing until we find something we like, or you can just tell me to stop. I'm not looking. Tell me when to stop, John. Stop. Wager Master it is. We haven't played Wager Master for a while. That's true. Definitely we got not. the foil Wager Master. Ooh, so shiny. Let's turn off the text. Ooh, so shiny. All right, cool. So Wager Master is a thing. That is a Chungi just subscribed. Thanks, Chungi. 12 months in a row. Cool, thank you. The website I posted isn't working. Isn't andendigital.com the website? Does it not uh, work without the dub-dubs? That hmm. couldn't be a thing. Maybe it doesn't work without the S? Or with the... Yeah, it doesn't work. HTTPS, for some reason, it didn't do it. Oh, I didn't type that. Twitch just put it automatically. All right, here, a, here. If I do a ons and digital, all works. copy. Let's see if that works. Yeah, without the without the s. I don't know why, because it is. Ugh, I'm sure it's like an internet forwarding thing or some kind of something. All right, so mine says not secure when I like, but that's because it's HTTP. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so it looks like I got a Prime Warden's Captain Cosmic, and so for my second hero, I'm going to take the Scholar. Uh, I haven't played Unity for a while. So oh I man, I never updated Unity. the thing. Ugh, stupid. Hang on, I gotta change our. Are we playing Wager Master in the Met in the festival? That's crazy. All right. <laughs> this will be weird. I'm up. I'm, I'm, I'm up for weird. I should have to update. I forgot to change the name, so it was still saying on deck. But I fixed it. Don't worry, everybody. I fixed it. All right, so we got Wager Master, so Prime Wardens, Captain Cosmic, uh, Benchmark, Supply and Demand, the Scholar, Unity at Madam Mittermeier's Fantastical Festival of Conundrums, Curiosities, and oh, I thought I'd come up with a third one. You did it wrong, but I screwed it up. It's time to come play some games! Can you win before you all die? So fun! From the cosmos to realms beyond, your villainy shall go no further! That was That's more Australian good. than it was English, but it was still pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, onward and upward. What do we got here? Alright, uh, Captain Cosmic opens up with a Construct Cataclysm, Dynamic Siphon, and a couple of Wounding Buffers. Benchmark has got two flybys, a Legion Core Processor, and... Shunt Energy. Uh, Scholar has got No One to Hold Fast, Offensive Transmutation, Proverbs and Axioms, and Transmuted Recovery. And Unity. Oh, I was going to pick Unity, and I was like, man, I played Unity a bunch last week. I shouldn't. So, all right. Maybe John will do better with Unity than I did. Brainstorm, Construct Pylon, or excuse me, Construction <coughs> Pylon, uh, Robot Reclamation, and Volatile Parts. Two people have made the same joke of, you call that a construct. Now this is a construct. <laughs> That's a construct. Yeah, I don't know why I defaulted it Australian there. Doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense, but. Oh, yeah, there's. Uh, are the new emoticons in there yet? Oh, I don't know the answer to that question. Krista was working on them. I don't know sure if they're. I don't know if they're in there yet. But yeah, the new badges are in there. So uh, I had for, didn't realize that I had only ever uploaded the one that was like subscribed for three months. So if you've been subscribed for more than I think it's three yeah, we months. Have one year subscribers now. Yeah, so there's three months, six months, one year, two years, and then there's multiple years, but I don't think we've done the multiple years yet. So uh, if you've been subscribed for long enough, you will see a different um, subscriber badge next year. And also, if they've cheered 100, they get a special badge. I don't know if we can customize that or not. Ah. Different. And Nate Diggy Dog has got cheer one. Aha. Thanks for the one cheer. Everything, every little bit counts. Indeed. Every little bit counts? Yes. <laughs> Very nice. All right, so the Wagelings are going to deal some damage. Does anyone catch the the pre-recorded on deck yesterday? 
Oh yeah, how did that go? I, I wanted to ask I how that went. Well, if ask the chat. Around. Find out how it went. Yeah, Anyone chat. Let us how know. It? We don't know. <laughs> we weren't there. I got a bunch of conditions. We'll have to go over those. Dover discovered a new sound toy. Interesting. Are you... Okay, I was going to say, I voted. I was just still watching cards. All right, but let's, let's be serious here, folks. The most important thing that's happened in the last five passes of the planet spinning is that the new Coheed and Cambria album came out, and... Oh my goodness, it is amazing! Yeah, I think here we all want to discard the top card of our decks. We want to flip it face down, usually. All right. So, say yes. Uh, Seamus, or Seamus Butler thinks this is a very large glass of whiskey. It is a beer at the moment. <laughs> I have a glass of whiskey. It's, but it's, it's, I am a, drinking it's a coffee mug of whiskey. Hanami from Brasserie de Charlesburg. It is a white beer with Morello cherries. It is very nice. Yeah, I'm just Hot drinking Street, pretty basic Knob Creek Kentucky straight it. bourbon whiskey small batch. Pretty. It's yum. All right, so let's see what we got. I Every time we play Wager Master, I forget <laughs> exactly how yeah. Wager Master works. So. so He's got Wagelings, which says if there's more villain targets than hero targets at the start of the turn, we lose. Right. Uh, not all he seems. Uh, if there are no cards in the villain deck, the heroes win. So that's good. Mm. Uh, the new deal, at the end of the villain turn, each hero target with an even amount of HP deals itself three psychic damage. If the heroes in cap this way, the heroes lose. Mm hmm Who are you fighting? If Wager Master is reduced to zero fewer HP, we lose. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Right so now this we can only win by getting rid of the deck. deck, okay? Which is difficult, but possible. Also by flipping down, like flipping face down, the conditions, right? Right. So, okay. So let me remind myself what benchmark supply and demands power is. Desperate measures. Benchmark regains one HP in the top card of your deck. Interesting. All right. Yeah, we know because I know about the scholars gain, and then she's to okay. Um, hmm. All right, so what do I want to do here? Wounding buffer. Yeah, hmm. And the Wagelings does damage. Does does wa does Wager Master do damage on this side? Uh, no, he does on the other side. It's not a huge amount, but he does some damage. Right, right. So if we, if we damage him, or go to damage him, not all these seams will flip. So, like, it's easy for... And he'll flip over once there's two or more face-down villain cards. So as soon as, like... Like, right. we can easily um, get him to flip just by trying to hit him once. And then uh, that'll flip down who are you fighting, which will let us potentially kill him. So that's worth a try. All right. So in that case, I will Wounding Buffer. Uh, is Wageling Zoo is after everybody, so it doesn't really matter, right? Although, uh, but I guess he's not going to hit us. Yeah, you don't want to play Wounding Buffer. Wager Master makes us hit ourselves a lot. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so let's go back. All right, so then I will Dynamic Siphon. Yeah, I mean, that's usually a better card to play in almost every case. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to give this to Benchmark. And then I actually don't even remember what this power is. And start your next turn whenever contract is destroyed, you may shuffle in your... Okay, great. Terrific. Good evening, Lou Dolphin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> it's true. We can also directly destroy Wager Master with a card like countermeasures. Um, so we can see. Uh, is anything else going to deal damage? I guess I'll probably play a Raptor Bot, which can make him flip. So This uh, music we'll is super fitting for a Wager Master game. What? This music is super fitting for a Wager Master game. Hmm. I like it a lot. Deployment actuation. All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Let's 
Does everybody want to use a power? Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I might just know when to hold fast here. That's fine. Yeah, let's get me more some more options. Grace under fire. Grace under fire. Rescue Provinces is asking about challenge modes for team villains and promo kismet. They are more about Christopher's schedule. That is correct. Ask Christopher, don't ask us. Yes. He says they're on his list. So. My gut tells me Christopher has it in the back of his mind that, like, they're not technically late until Oblivion launches digital, which is not true. <laughs> they are now, at this point, roughly a year late. But we love Christopher. We do want him to design them, but I think they are not his highest priority right now, unfortunately. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, challenge mode arrives precisely when it's supposed to. All right, I'm just going to use Brainstorm to do not do a damage to Wager Master. And I'll ping the Wagelings. And I'll ping the Dynamic Siphon. I wouldn't say to badger him next power. week, but you can certainly ask him. He's on, so he will be making an appearance on Tales from the Archive on Sunday, but in pre-recorded form. He will then be on On Deck on Monday night, then he will be on the Crit Camp stream on Wednesday, and then he will be on Dolphin's Dive on Friday. Threat neutralizer, auto-targeting, lots of things. Let's play more hardware instead. I don't super need to get about it right now. All right, so we got an abandoned big top. It won't do anything till the start. Let's just remind everybody what that one does. That is an attraction at the start of the environment turn. If there are fewer attractions than active character cards, uh, play the top card of the environment deck. All right. <coughs> And now Wager Master gets angry. I don't know if the order of these matters. Oh yeah, we do want to flip the new deal down first. So that, actually he's at full health, so it doesn't matter, but yeah. So that makes him heal when other ones get full, flip base down. An unwise wager. It's good. Now we can try to get him. Uh, we can hit the dynamic siphon first, sure. Ooh, perfect. Load on initialization. Oh, GTG Bigfoot asks, Jeremy, what's your favorite track off of Vaxis? Oof. That's a big question. <laughs> because, honestly, I have, like, the only two... That I have ev I've skipped even once are uh, Black Sunday and Queen of the Dark, and only because I was so up in terms of energy that I didn't want to listen to some slightly slower songs. But honestly, they are all amazing. <laughs> I think it's honestly my okay my favorite song changes literally like every time I listen through the album, which has been dozens of times at this point. My kid's favorite, I can tell you that one easily, my kid's favorite is Old Flames. Uh, that is like an earworm that cri climbed into their head and they are not letting go. Um, and I get it. Like, that is a totally catchy song. Um, uh, Black Sunday and Queen of the Dark sound like great stand names. Band names? Is that what you meant to say? Or stand like names? Stand names? Like mic stands? You're yeah, going to name know. your mic stand? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I do think my, my early favorite was um, All on Fire. Because all on fire, please bring water. That's a great, that is a great, great jam. All right, do I want to play a card, draw a card? Let me take a look at what I got here. Uh, Jeremy does not know the JoJo, apparently. I'm going to draw a card. JoJo? Yeah, I guess I don't. I don't know what JoJo is. I know what Joko is. Yes. Not Joe Joe. Yeah, True Ugly is awesome. 
uh, yeah, honestly, the last five songs in a row, which is, um, oh, shoot, I can't remember the name of the first one, but then, like, Gutter, All on Fire, Take wa- It Walks Among Us. I not know what it is either. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> And then um, the final song of uh, Lucky Stars. Those five in a row is like, once th- once that starts, I'm done for 15, 20 minutes. I cannot do anything else except listen to that. So, All right. Uh, let's see. Cosmic Crest. Uh... Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I don't really have any other good options, I don't think. So... He does deal energy damage, so... Yeah. It will be useful. I honestly have no idea what Jeremy's talking about. So, we, what, uh, what we're talking about right now is the new Coed and Cambry album, Vaxis One, The Unheavenly Creatures, which just came out on Friday, and it's amazeballs, and you should all go get it, because it's, it's, seriously, it's, it might be the best Coed and Cambry album. It's certainly their best album in, like, at least three or four albums, and I mean, they're, they don't, I don't think they've ever released a bad album, personally, but this one is, like, a tour de force. It is just unbelievable. Secondary Canon comes out. Benchmark is get set up. Let's go for a deployment. Jojo's activation. Bizarre Adventure Anime. All right. Ooh. Yeah, let's get a hardware into the hand. I have a shunt energy that I can. I mean, we can pile on Wager Master. I think if we have, like, extra damage to hit the Wager with, that would be good. Okay. Because that makes another face-down card that will be less likely for who are you fighting to come up. But let's play a hardware card. I like secondary cannon, but I also... Yeah, this is going to take effect right away, and the other things aren't, so... Yeah, so the Afterman double album GTG Bigfoot is talking about uh, was really excellent. Uh, the the often cited Christopher and Jeremy went to a Coheed and Cambria concert together thing was actually on the Color Before the Sun tour, which is the only album that is not part of the sort of overarching story. Um, and it was a great album. I loved Your it. Turn. I know. I'm reading. I'm scrolling cards while I'm talking. I can do two things. All right. Um, <clears throat> but I think as a cohesive piece of art, I think the newest album is definitely the best one. Yeah, I think I might just Truth Seeker here. Like, I want to do all these shenanigans, but I don't know enough about how Wager Master works, like, effectively to know. Right now, you're just punching Wager Master. So yeah. if you have, like, some damage capabilities, go for it. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I could do this, but it's only going to be two, which is going to be the same. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. Truth Seeker. Truth Seeker! You'll love misfortune. I'm still confused as to why Game Show forgot how to hear me. That's an interesting thing. Missing No the Great says, careful with Truth Seeker. Careful why? Is it dangerous? Doing two damage and drawing a card? I mean, I'll be careful. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I can take out the wagelings here, so I will do that. Because <clears throat> the truth. You won't believe your eyes! There's more self-damage. Which is why Wounding Buffer is a bad idea in this game. Gotcha. Unless you're planning to, like, blow it up right away. Oh, man. If only Wheel of Misfortune had come out, like, ten seconds earlier, right as he was saying, Wheel of Misfortune. Mm. The truth is not dangerous, people. If the X-Files taught us anything, it's that the truth is out there. Oh, good. Unwise wager again. Uh, 
but he is going to blow up my reactor pad, but oh well. Yeah, Nate Diggadadog, he says, a good play for Scholar would be to keep moving into Flesh to Energy, and then, or you're talking about Flesh to Iron? And then play the Proverbs and Axioms. I think he means Mortal Form to mortal Energy. Mortal Form to Energy, yeah, I was going to say, that's a, that's a conglomeration of cards. Yeah, there. Nate combining two of them. Uh, Alright, yep. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was thinking about doing something with my keep moving, but I wasn't sure what to do. And like I said, I I've played Wager Master outside of playing Wager Master on the streams. I I could probably count the number of times I've played against Wager Master on one hand because mm. I just I don't get it. I, it's it's like eight dimensional chess that's beyond me. So I don't typically play Wager Master. Yes, let's discard. He will attack us, but. That's okay, it's just one hero. Yeah. We can pile the damage on now and hope he doesn't flip. Who are you fighting? <laughs> Who do we have that has uh, multiple powers? Benchmark. Yeah, benchmark. All right. We'd love and you've got lot. Yeah, and you've got lots of cards. So excellent. I like it. And uh, yeah, I'll just do the same thing. Another construct cataclysm. I feel like this has not been a super great uh, Captain Cosmic game so far. Uh, what do I have for powers? I need to get more powers, so let's try playing the top card and see if I get another power. Well, more hardware. Right on. Let's put auto targeting ahead of my hand already. Actually, I'll get that threat neutralizer back because I will want to destroy ongoing equipment cards sometimes. Uh, I have two in play, five hardware in play. I can play a software card. I will go ahead and play that threat neutralizer. So it's medial damage. And nothing else I want to deal damage to. Then I can discard a card. <laughs> nice. This is the benchmark show. I, yeah, I'll go ahead and destroy any environment cards. The band of Big Dop Top is playing more cards. You won't believe your eyes is probably going to destroy itself. Or maybe not be a big deal anyways. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to destroy the Man in Big Top because that's playing extra environment. It's making the environment go crazy, so. All right, and now actually play a card. Weird. I already used my base power. I just have one power, and I can actually use two. So I probably want to place a power that I can use. Uh, yeah, I think Alley Matrix is good. Oh, oh, who was it that was talking to me about Spider-Man the game last week? Whoever it was, I hope you follow my Twitter because I literally went home and basically finished the game that night after uh, the stream. It was excellent. It was amazing. It was so good. If you have a PlayStation 4, I recommend it. Scholar draw a card and use a power, because that seems like a good thing for the Scholar to do all the time. Hey, there's a flesh time. More cards for the Scholar. Um. And I will shunt energy. I can discard a card to heal, so I will discard this intervening path calculator and 
do damage. I can play a hardware card. And I don't need to discard right now. Yeah, I've heard that there's DLC coming for the Spider-Man game. I actually loaned my copy to a friend, and I'll probably get back into it, you know, in like a month or so. Like, we'll wait for the DLC, see oh, what yeah, it is. You keep moving now. I do. I can just keep moving until the cows come home. Um, right. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, double mor mortal form. Yep. Like, I'm kind of... Well, hmm. Like, I could transmute of recovery here to deal a mess of damage. I don't think I have anything that'll boost... I mean, Proverbs will do the same amount of damage. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And have, let everyone else do stuff, so... Yeah, and I do love me of some Proverbs and Axioms. All right, so we got a harsh offense, deployment actuation... Oh, don't dismiss anything. Supply crate. All right, we'll let everybody choose in the order. So Captain Cosmic will... I mean, I don't really... Yeah, your power is already active, so... Yeah. You don't need to use it. Benchmark, on the other hand, is happy to... I can discard a separate card, like this software, to heal, to back... <laughs> And then use the power to do more stuff. Like, I can end up with more hit points and play the top card of my deck. So. Ooh, Infernal Missile Pod. Perfect. I can discard a card into the Infernal Missile Pod. Do I have any hardware left? I guess I do. Uh, do I want to discard a card? Actually, I don't right now. Do I? Yeah, I want to. I want those cards. So. <clears throat> All right, so we'll deal some damage. Deal some damage. And Unity will gain hit points. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a wash, so I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> yeah, may as well get an extra card. Yep. And he's down to 29. Get out of the way! Maybe we'll win by punching, Wager Master. You never know. I have one platform bot, but not other ones. I guess I can play Supply Crate and hope to draw one. Nope. I do not have a golem to play, so. Man, <clears throat> not good times for Unity. Oh, discard a card for two hit points. Nah. Not those cards. Gone without a trace. Ooh, I'll sing Azorbar, the best. Uh, someone can discard a card and we can try for one shots. Maybe Captain Cosmic, who has sure. piles of cards. Yep. And whose deck do we want to reveal for a one shot? Benchmark Scholar. Yeah, those are the two that jumped out at me. Let's go with Scholar. Scholar. Boom. Not a one shot. Nope. But we can do this every turn. And it's Wagelings. Hooray. Miss Single oh. Great says don't show Scholar's deck or you might lose all your cards. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It happens. Same for a pile of damage. And we have to pick one to flip face up. I the pick, middle I one. Pick the middle one. Good. It's fine. 
unwise wager. And this is just going to hit us. Uh, yeah, Captain Kazuma can do this again. Let's look at benchmarks, maybe. Sure. I guess benchmark doesn't really have that many one shots. <laughs> uh, let's all discard cards from the top of our deck. <laughs> Apparently, Lou Dolphin found out last Friday that a badly timed no one to turn loose can be bad. Nate Dagazi says, Could no one to turn loose kill Wager Master this turn? Uh, nope. He has only 11 cards, not 25. But we could probably deal a pile of damage, so let's do it again. Yep. All right, so we harsh offense for four. Yeah, we should focus Wager Master, and it's possible. Like, yeah, if you do no one to turn loose with 11 damage or 12 damage, wherever you have, that's pretty solid. Let's have Captain Cosmic continue to discard cards. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use that. Uh, I would still choose this color. More one shots in the Skullish deck than other players, so. Sure. Oh, we did discard the top, but it's another solid to liquid. <laughs> oh well. Let's use a power. Let's play the top card of my deck. Oh, there's a one shot. Missing number of the great. I don't think you discarded the top. Yes, we did. I can return cards to my hand. I will return some softwares. So that I can do the thing I want. I think I just need to return one software. Yeah. Don't need to go through the whole rigmarole. Uh. Yeah, and let's play. Yeah, the Ally Matrix is pretty good with the Scholar over here. Uh, so is Intel Analyzer. Let's go with Intel Analyzer. Because they can do damage. Missing No the Great, uh, we discarded cards from the top of our deck on Wager Master's turn. It had nothing to do with Alsing Azulbar. I can discard a card, sure. Put it in the missile pod. Lots of fun in the fun house. Hmm. Uh, I could play a software card and delay my decision. Uh, let's, yeah, I can discard a deployment actuator because that's fine. And use a different power. Let's use that one. I'm looking for my multi-point HUD. There it is. Excellent. Nice. All right, discard that, put it in the missile pod. We not get to Scholar's turn here. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. Discard that. To see you succeed. Pod, play multi point HUD. Uh, I need to discard a card. I don't have to discard a card, but I want to discard. Well, do I want to? Sure. Let's do one more damage. Draw a card. What do I get? 
Intervening path calculator. Sure. Let's play flyby. And nothing I really want to target. I could target myself, I guess, but I'll play another card. Let's play the other flyby. Some more damage. Takes I take some damage anyways. I can discard this. Yeah, I don't need that card. Put it under the missile pod. And then I can return the flyby to my hand. And discard it later. This is the benchmark show. Let's increase the damage. That's fine, I'm just dancing the matter minimizers over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not going to get a turn. <laughs> because my missile pod is, has seven cards under it. And I have a plus one, and he has 11 health. <laughs> And now he has six health. So I already know who we're playing for the next game. Because it has been too long since we have taken on Akash Buta. And I see them talking about Akash Buta here. And so we're going to do that. Okay. That is going to happen. <laughs> well, first, I'm blowing up <clears throat> all the missiles. Yeah, no, I consider this to be a foregone conclusion. I'm already thinking ahead. Do it, Benchmark. You got this. All right. I'm doing two damage eight times against a target with six health. And Wager Master is punched in the face to death. He's mad. Not to death. Mm, mm, he mm, can't mm, die, mm. but... <laughs> yes, I am already playing the Akash Buddha game in my head. That's exactly <laughs> right. That was not fair. Why did you do that to me? Benchmark's not fair. He's OP. <laughs> Benchmark is OP. He's banned from our local games. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Ooh, Freedom Tower. I don't think I do not think we've played Akash Buta at Freedom Tower. It's because there's no targets and she doesn't do anything. Well, that's but what we, we got. Can do it. So, and I'm gonna play Ra. Oh, nope, not Legacy. Ra. Nope, not Legacy. Stop moving things around. There we go. Ra. And I'm going to play only damage dealing characters. Unless you or do what you want. All right, deck control characters. Do your thing. I've picked my two. Blue Dolphin votes no environment destruction. Well, it's too late. We have Parse. Yeah, joke's on you. I don't even know how to use parts to do that. <laughs> Try to get a Akashi to flip once around or more. Interesting. Uh, you can do that with uh, Akash 3 uh, fairly easily. Uh, Akash 3 was flipping Akash Buddha on her turn every time. All right, I have chosen. Do I want a variant of Fnatic? Oh yeah, I mean, like if I switch to Crazy Ra, I could get a bunch of environment cards going, right? Isn't that the thing? Wait, or no, maybe not. Setting Sun. Oh, it's it's his cards that get get destroyed, right? All right, I'm just gonna do regular Ra. Sure. All right, let's do it. The Kashpuda Freedom Tower. She's R trying to create the tree a little early. Yeah, as I was about to say, like she's like, wait, <laughs> I feel like I'm drawn to being a, a flora somewhere around here. The natural order is one of chaos, flee and fail, you temporary beings. You shall burn under the baleful gaze of the sun. Yeah, I mean, fire versus wood? Come on, I think we know who's going to win <laughs> here. All right, we got a flame barrier, uh, a couple living conflagrations, and a staff of raw. We've got, uh, is that extreme Primorns fanatic? Excuse me. With Absolution, Divine Focus, Embolden, and Final Dive. Uh, Parse has got Impossible Shot, Quick Calculation, Reveal the Flaws, Updated Intel. Excuse me. I keep burping. My dinner is repeating on me. Uh, a couple of Better Punchings, a Hedgy Hog, and a Spark of Inspiration. All with, fragments. Uh, is that, is that that's Super Sente, right? 
Oh, all right. All right, let's see what we got. Super Sentai. Nothing. Very, very tame opening for yeah. a crash boot. Yeah, that's, I'll take it. <laughs> that just means her next turn is going to be ridiculous. All right, well, in that case, then I'm just going to get set up and deal some damage. All my conflagrations are living. My living conflagration. <laughs> yeah. All my conflagrations are living. All of them. Well, I will allow Ra to use extra powers because we're special friends. Aww. Only once, though, because the emboldened damage is going to go to Okash. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Eh. Yeah, I think I'm going to update it Intel. And then hit Akash Buta. Critical Multiplier. That has Fnatic on the cover. All right. So this is not a great start for the Idealist. I think I am just going to skip. So it's not ideal is what you're saying. There's some things that I can play. A card, one card that isn't a fragment. I mean, fragments are good, fine one shots, but well, yeah, but you want to, yeah, you want to, yeah, exactly. You want to be able to do them to their full extent. All right, we got Legacy's Landing Pad. There we go. See, I told you her next turn was going to be. It's fine. All right, who? Well, here, let's choose a Kash Buddha, and we can. Choose one of the cards. Like oh. she's gonna reveal the top four cards, right? So, so we can keep that in the bottom, or we can put it on top if we want it to get played. Um, probably keep it in the bottom. Sure. I mean, it's not a bad one, but fewer limbs the better. Yeah, she'll end it up with one. Uh, and now we can look and see what the next. It is gonna play the top card, so we could. Put the primeval. Put now. Put that limb on top, so she plays that instead of something. That's instead worse. of something that's worse, yeah. Wait, that's not what that was a thing. Oh, she's still playing revealed cards. Oh, so, uh, that one is on top now. So you could look again at her and see if there's something else that might be better. Yeah, sure. Let's, let's look, or at least we'll know it's on the bottom. Oh yeah, I keep that on the bottom for sure. We don't want that to ever we, go to the top. We don't want her to like reveal this and then discard it because it's not a limb. She's already revealed the top four cards. Oh, I see. Okay. She's playing the cards now that she has re previously revealed. And there's the phalanges that we put on top. So you can like pick a hero deck or the environment deck or something. Now so it doesn't, it doesn't reveal them one at a time. It reveals all four at once. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't, like, it reveals them all, then it puts the ones into play, right? Oh, like, I you see. follow it in order. So then, okay, so if that's the case, then how did how did the first one going into play allow us to sneak our Boreal Phalanges in? Because, read what your card says. Whenever a villain card enters play. I get it. Okay, sorry. Okay. All right, so yeah, we'll do updated intel. Um, all right, so like, who of us might have something that would be good? All of us. Yeah, let's see. Raw fanatic parts. We don't have any like play the bottom card abilities, so it's something that you might want to bubble to the top. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna do raw. That's probably pretty good. Yeah, I'll take it. In this game. So I feel like I'm so an extra power this turn. 
play Living Conflagration. All right, yeah, we're definitely gonna do that. So, all right, our first and foremost, I assume we want to try and get rid of these carapaces first, but maybe you have a different opinion. Yeah, the landing pad is causing problems though because it reduces the lowest. So, oh, like, you want to like hit them down evenly? Yeah, so we got we got we got to bounce around. Okay, that's fine. I can bounce around. And hopefully she doesn't heal them all. All right, so we'll hit this. And there's that scorched earth. And then we we'll use this to hit the other one. Well, you can still hit that carapace and just say no. It's not the lowest, but whatever. Do I want to? Oh, okay. Oh, well, she, her damage reduction canceled that. Anyways, uh, gross. I guess I go with absolution. Even though I don't get the health, I will do some more damage. Oh, right, this is still getting redirected to cash. All right, I need to rewind and do something else. Uh, I'm just going to draw more cards. Always a worthwhile solution. Different cards from Prayer of Desperation. Yeah, you definitely have that final dive, so we can get one of these down to four. That would be great. Ooh, or I could reveal the flaws. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I can do irreducible if we want to try and. Win. Yeah, I mean, rule of flaws would let us get through that damage reduction and take out the limbs more quickly. Yeah, I tend to really like reveal the flaws, so we'll just go with that. Then you can like focus that carapace. The lower even one. Though it's yeah, because you have irreducible damage. Right. So, yeah. And I get another real view of flaws. Like, I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I'm going to play Strange Super Ego. And I can use a power to play a fragment, which I may as well. Still don't have any cons ways to get a concept from my deck. Uh, uh. Yeah, but I might deal not with the card. Yeah, hedgy hogs. Let's just do hedgy hogs. Do damage to a couple things. Draw a card or use a power. Hey, conceptualize. I want that, so that's good. So I could, well, my power would just be zero damage, so I may as well draw a card. Yeah, that was not me voting. That was me accidentally clicking on something. You definitely voted for it. You're wrong. I definitely voted for it. What I'm saying, <laughs> it was a, what I'm saying is that it was accidental. Hey, mission control. Speaking of which, vote.org. You should go, if you're American, go to vote.org. Make sure that you're registered. That is a thing that should happen. Sacrosanct Martyr, Extrasensory Awareness, Fixing Tiara, oh, dot, dot org. Thing. What is she running for? Anything at this point. Yeah, not to get political, but you guys all see that Taylor Swift came out and got political for the first time in her mm -hmm. entire life this week? Holy cow. That's how well, you. That's how you know where we're at. I don't know about her entire life. Well, in, in her entire public life, she's always been very, very careful not to say anything. But she actually came out this week. All right. So, the order doesn't matter here, really, because you can just like. Okay. Um. Probably pick a hero deck because we know that primeval eruptions on the bottom of the cache, and we don't want it there. Or we want to keep it there, I guess. All right, Fanatic, what do you got? Mm. I'm just going to keep that in the bottom. I don't want that.
Rock slide! Okay, so first things first, I'm going to summon staff. Ooh. I'm going to summon another staff. Summon another staff! Keep summoning staves! <laughs> summon the staves! Alright, so then I got a fire blast. Interesting. Alright, so... Yeah, the living rock slide is the new priority. But it's not like... I mean, we should take out those those uh, carapaces also. Yeah, and I mean, I still have irreducible. We still have irreducible from parse. So... Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sc oh, Scorched Earth is going to do two right now. Yeah, um, two plus one. Two plus one, right, right. Two plus two plus one plus two. Uh, first time rest of the... Yeah, no. mm hmm hmm I don't have a second power this turn. No. Nope. Yeah, so I feel like yeah, Fire Blast is gonna do well, and the Living Compilation does one and a card versus the base power. Well, a two because of the plus one. Or I can do three. Yeah, I feel like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to Scorch. I'm gonna Holy Nova. To take, if anything's left at one on my turn, I'll take it out. So if you want to like aim to get stuff at one, oh, actually, also a final dive, so I could final dive that carapace into something else for four. Oh yeah, all right. So then I'm just gonna fire blast the living rock slide. Sure. Yeah, then you can get it down to four, and then I can throw the carapace. Into oh, nice. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> then you can just hit the other carapace. Great. That's exactly what I will do. Oh, and so many fours! Why can't we living? Yeah, why can't we <laughs> throw it into two different targets? Christopher, fix the game. It's broken. Yeah, final dive is the right call here. So let's destroy a carapace and throw it into. Well, the rock slide. Will we get? We might just get rid of the rock slide. Yeah, like Paris could just take out the rock slide on her own. So if I take out the carapace, yeah, the carapace now, then it'll be is, less reduction. Yeah, plus so. one damage or yeah. minus minus one damage. This doesn't matter, but so pick whatever. Then there'll be less reduction for her. And Yeah, I will target Akash now and maybe get something good against your next turn. Nice. Alright, so I can reveal more flaws. Yeah, like, you don't have to hit the, like, yeah, if you want to do reveal the flaws, that's fine, because, like, uh, the idealist can do, like, four damage easily on her turn. Alright, so if I reveal the flaws and then hit the flanges with my base power... Sure, that works. Yeah. Or you could exercise. Yeah, I was gonna say I was just looking the, at that. Control the villain deck. Yeah, that's I was just looking at that. Viable. Like that's maybe probably the better call yeah. here. Let's see what we can find. So we've got. Hmm. Okay. So I get two. Let's see. With discard one and put the other two on top of the deck in any order. All right. So I really, really, deeply dislike the ensnaring brambles. Now the but, brambles is gonna go after. Like we can just pick one of our heroes, but. Like, Earth Sacrifice is probably worse because it destroys yeah. stuff. All right, so we'll get rid of Earth Sacrifice and then probably yeah, Phalanges the on, top. on top. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I, would, yeah I wouldn't I'm shuffle not it. Not going to shuffle, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Then we're just going to get, like, a Brambles. So, or a Phalanges, right? So. Yep. Let's draw a card. Ooh, Monster Vid. Give me plus one damage. All right, so that's actually really good. Uh, so I'm gonna conceptualize and find a karate robot. I'm a karate guy. Let's put that under the karate robot. And for my next trick, I can use the karate robot 
that's going to be over a kill on the rock slide now, but um, actually at the end of my turn I can use a power. Yeah, Strain Super Ego is going to destroy going to destroy Karate Robot. Well, I could destroy uh, Monster of Eight instead, but I kind of like it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. Better Punching would let me also use a power. So many options. Uh, I'll just use Karate Robot. I'll do the simple thing. And obliterate the rock slide. Oh yeah, okay, uh, yeah, actually I can move Karate Robot under, or move that under Karate Robot. Oh wait, I don't want, that's, I think I want to do the other thing. Right. Actually, what I want to do, I need to go back to my use power phase. Okay. I need to put it under Monster of Id so that Strain Super Ego puts it under Karate Robot and then Monster of Id takes it from Karate Robot. It's all so simple. Yeah. It's just the way it's it works. Simple. Things are in the right order. This way. Uh, I just don't have a lot of fragments, which makes it tricky. <laughs> what did, what you, did you do? do? Yeah, move a card from under concept to under another concept, and then Monster Vid will do the opposite. Uh, oh, and I could uh, play another fragment. So why don't I do that? Use a power. Base power, play a fragment. Let's play. Yeah, it's like really difficult to form punching. Voltron. Yep. So and I will mention that. Now that I'm done with Spider-Man, I moved on to the next PS4 game that I'm playing, which is Astrobot Rescue Mission, which is a PSVR game. And if you have a PSVR, which I realize I'm talking to like a subset of a subset of a subset, <laughs> uh, it is amazing. It is seriously like I bought VR hoping that there would be a killer app and I didn't find one until now. This, I think, could potentially be the killer app for VR. It is so much fun basically a platformer but you're like in the world of the platforming while you're controlling the little dude that's platforming around it's so cool uh, it was all one shots this time <laughs> and look surprise uh, hmm. so we know that fanatic has a card she doesn't want we could look at two of the other or one of the other heroes if you want Oh, we did get Flame Barrier, that's right. Everyone else had one shots. All right, I need a list. Um, I mean, that's fine. Don't you already have one of those? Or Yeah, I'll, put, I'll take it on top. Find something else on the bottom that I might want. All right. Flame Barrier reacts! Indeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, now it's like I've, I've got Scorched Earth, and it would do great things for us, but I still want to hold on to it. Let's see. Um, go faster. Say again? You can go faster. You can burn hotter. Yeah. Hmm. I already have a living conflagration out. Yeah, but when you play it, it deals damage. It's I, like a, I know it's like a, it's a double whammy. Uh, yeah, that blazing tornado is a better power, but well, or is it? That's fine. We'll do this. It is in the long term. When have you ever known me to play the long game, John? Come on. Exactly. You just and played the long fire. game by using that power instead of your base power. I played the mid game. <laughs> I am not I'm playing first dimensional chess, not third or fourth dimensional chess. Alright, there's only two non hero targets, so Holy Nova's not really doing that much here. Um, 
I think I'm gonna get zealous offense is actually not a bad call I'm gonna play that and I'm gonna do sacrosanct murder because my redirect is happening nice I will choose five and do five damage and then do zero damage Oh, good. Consecrated Ground is handy. All right, let me look at this. Uh... There ends our Irreducible Damage Party. A critical multiplier here. All right, I know you're keeping track of this. What's what's her current situation? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. But oh, do, you right. do you remember she what's where? Uh, brambles on top, which is fine. And I guess it would stop it would stop Parse from dealing damage, but like Parse is probably going to use extra sensory next turn. So, right? So do the damage this turn and let her play the brambles. Okay. This is the thing with this environment, which nev this environment has no targets, so she's never going to play a card on the environment turn. It makes it a little easier. <laughs> Should I hit the phalanges for one or her for two? I'd hit her for two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, cool. Uh, let me see. Draw a card or put a card from hand under a concept in play. I'll draw another card. It's that spark of it's inspiration. The spark that we put on there last turn. So I could last better round, excuse me. Better punching. Actually, I can get another card under Karate Robot before using better punching, which will be even better punching than that. Better, better punching. Better, better punching. More, more better. More better punching. Yeah, deal each non-hair target one psychic damage. That's not too bad. Let's do that. I have a damage boost so I can get through the damage reduction a little bit. Better punching. Hey, there's a making things up. That's nice. Let's put this under Karate Robot. And I'm not going to use Karate Robot. I'm going to use Play a Fragment to play Better Punching to punch the phalanges and then use karate robot to destroy the phalanges with 4x4 four four irreducible alright Akash what are you going to do now you got no limbs Yeah, I like that she's on the landing pad so she's hurting herself more uh, let's put a card from my trash under a concept in play. We can put it under Karate Robot, I think, because we already have one to move from Monster Vid. And that can go also under Karate Robot. And something else can go under Karate Robot. This is super great. I've used, yeah, I used like power, I nested two power uses, so I got to use Focusing GR twice. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's move the card from Monster of Id, and then we want to use a power. No, I think we want to draw a card because I don't want to use um, my Idealist power right now. And yeah, let's move any one of these cards over from the Karate Robot. Keeping that Monster of Id in check is important. And we get a hit point. Uh-oh, entry point. Well, we could probably, I mean, we could cover the landing pad. It is stopping us from hitting the limbs oftentimes. If I was gonna pick one, that's what I would probably pick. Sure. Now your score shift is going to do four damage. But she's only going to have one limb there, yeah. so it's not a big deal. We got some cards I didn't even follow that 
<laughs> yeah. What did you get? Oh, you got exploit weakness. And did he else get something? No. Yeah, you got exploit vulnerability. That's all. Uh, I don't think the order matters, so. So you could choose. We don't know, Parse, Void Guard, or Ra. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it. Increased damage to Instrang Brambles by one. And the villains didn't deal any damage, so, so much for entry point. Imbued fire, baby. Yeah, that feels like the right choice. More plus ones. Oh, you got another Flesh of the Sun God. That's what happened. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna... Ra is very set up. <laughs> just base power, five damage. Yep. No big deal. No biggie. All right. I can... Sure. During Brambles can't deal damage. Uh, I don't honestly care about entry point, so... I think I'm just gonna kill the brambles unless yeah may as well boop why are you hitting yourself and, and, yeah, entry point plus one <laughs> why are you hitting yourself Akash you really should come over to the good guy's side this is where it's at Think about so you it. You got another critical multiplier. I did. Yeah. Uh, yep. All right. We don't currently know I what's think on top, the right? Deck has three entry points and two other cards. <laughs> but it doesn't even matter because actually, yeah, we should uh, scry her deck, I think. And you can't deal damage, anyways. So. All right, more Brambles and Allies of the Earth. Oh, yeah, Allies of the Earth can go on top. There will never be an environment target entering play in this game, so... Great. That can be there all game long. Another extra sensory, sensory awareness. Do I want to draw a card? Oh, I do have making things up. I like that. So I'm going to draw a card so that I have more things for me. Nate Diggity Doggy says I this should have been challenge mode. Yeah, you're right. We probably could have or should have done something. Listen, sometimes it's nice to have a good win. Exactly. <laughs> sometimes you need a win. I mean, I feel like we won the last game. But whatever. Sometimes you need two wins. Play any number of concepts from your hand. Oh, I have to discard two cards first. But, yeah, let's discard. Uh, that's Bark. I don't need that. I'm at full health. And... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not everyone needs a second win, but then you have it. <laughs> All right, more concepts. Giant Floaty Head and Flying Stabby Knives are also I mean, you don't need a wine cellar if you're planning to do wine tastings in your butler's pantry, but some people like to have it. I still haven't watched season five. I watched the first episode of season five, and then I just never got back to it. All right, this is going to be redonkulous. I'm going to do five damage with that let's go under a karate robot i'm not even bothering with the base power because the karate robot is just so crazy good here nice uh i'm gonna use the strange super ego i think to play a fragment we can play better i mean better punching i don't even need the irreducibleness of it um Just wondering if I could do something different instead. Yeah, I could just do hedgy hugs, I guess. Uh, 
And no one wants to be dealt damage, probably. Eh, Ra's immune. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and let's go under Karate Robot. And then let's move more cards under Karate Robot. And draw a card, and at the end of my turn, I can move a card from a concept to another concept. Let's move a card from Monster Vid to Karate Robot. We're going all in. And we're going to use a power. We're going to use Karate Robot. Yes, I like where this is going. Pew, 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 pew. Seven cards with two plus ones is ten and ten. And I still get to put a card from my trash underneath a concept so that Monster of Id doesn't deal me any self-damage. It's pretty redonkulous here. <laughs> Having Strange Super Ego before Monster of Id is so good. And the Focusing Terra as well. Like It's just ridiculous. All right, Wraith's Arsenal comes out. Oh, good. Yeah, we don't need any more help. Wrathful Gaze. Oh, end of days. Ah. That's going to come out, go out next turn unless we destroy it. That's funny. End of days coming out from mission control. Yeah. Alright. Allies of the Earth. And Akash plays Allies of the Earth. Actually, if you wanted to, like, get rid of entry points, you could... Uh, well, I don't know. There's, It's just entry point time over there, so... Yeah. I'd pick a hero. Uh, Alright, Fnatic, what do you got? We already know what Fnatic has, and I already know I didn't want it. We already know what Fnatic has. God, why'd you make me select that, John? You picked it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Alright. We really don't care. We're winning this game easily. All right. We're all at full health. Just about... There are now five environment cards in play. But. Yeah, we do we have a plan to get rid of uh, End of Days, or should I just Scorched Earth here? I just play Fire Blast. Yeah, alright. I would say Scorched Earth for you can wipe the field with it. Yeah. If she plays uh, plays more, more of her things. Come on, there we go. Man, I get another fire blast. All right, if you say so. <laughs> Idealist goes to Corona Ranger. Hold my root beer. Yeah, I mean, I Fnatic can just destroy her own end of days with consecrated ground, which I think is what I'm gonna do. All right, nice. <laughs> which honestly is not a thing I've ever done before, and so there's a first time for everything. Uh, end of days, where are you in the show all cards? And there's so many because we've been getting so many cards from Mission Control. This would be good if I had used my base power, but I didn't. Send that all over to a cache. Uh, yeah, this is just going to be absolution, I think. All right, so we know that she's going to play a Brambles, which is not a big deal, so. All right, so. You have all your critical, oh, Mission Control played your other critical multiplier. Oh my God, I have all <laughs> the multipliers. <laughs> this is outrageous, this game. <laughs> yeah, give plus nine damage to someone. <laughs> all right. Just you could give it to yourself if you want, and you could use the repeat decision feature to not have to answer it every oh, time. Oh yeah. Yoink. So it'll be each card will be and have a separate answer, but your next discard won't ask it for those ones again. Uh, 
I don't think you did for the first one. All right. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yes, there it goes. Nice. Boom. Good times. And this feature will be out next week with the update. With the Void Guard. And I'm drawing all the cards. Yes, also draw six cards. <laughs> and you got another copy of that to do it again. Next yep. Time. All right. And now you can do 12 damage. Not too shabby! More recompiles. Yeah, I got all the recompiles, too. Uh, yeah, I'll draw a card. Vivid Thoughts are making things up. Let's try Vivid Thoughts. How many... Yeah, there's still lots of fragments in there. Let's go for Vivid Thoughts. Give it a try. Jengro says that feature may be better than Void Guard. Hmm. It's a very situational feature, but yes, it is something that has actually been on our request list probably for almost four years uh you know yeah, but I'll, it's i have i have tickets from like 2014 uh, that i'm going to be sending like hey we did that thing we, you asked <laughs> for, yeah <laughs> yeah so it'll be it'll be four years ago that we launched the game next tuesday and literally one of the very first tickets we got in the first couple of months that it was out was like hey it'd be great if i didn't have to repeatedly select this thing and we finally got to it, because we play the long game. Great. Uh, yeah, hedgy hogs. That's hedgy hog. And I'm not gonna hit anything else. Put it under that karate robot. That is my best friend. Put more things under the karate robot. That's my best friend. I feel bad for Akash Buddha in this game. Takewalker says, and the new Spirit Island Kickstarter launches the same day, doesn't it? I believe that is accurate. It's definitely yep. sometime next week that the it's new Spirit Island. the same Island. day, actually. It's the so. same day, yeah. Uh, let's use a power. Let's use Karate Robot. And once again, do crazy. Not as much damage as last time, but still piles of damage. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's a new expansion, expansion Spirit for Spirit Island. Island. Yep. Called the Jagged Earth. I believe. And let's put a card under Flying Stabby Knives. It's just going to go to Monster in a second. This is a, like, last game was, like, the benchmark show. This game, I mean, it's not all the idealist show. It's also the Raw show and the Purse show. <laughs> it's everyone's show this game. It's the hero show. Yeah. Uh, everyone? No, we want everyone but one player to draw a card. Alright. So, how about Paris? Uh, I don't know. Raw's got stuff. Let's go Frenetic and the Idealist. And then we'll skip so that we keep the Wraith Stars all around. Alright, and it's the entry point. point show. Let's cover the medical ward. Yeah, I was gonna we say the medical ward. Like we're yeah. we're so lousy with hit points, it's ridiculous. <laughs> and we have one shots going into the trash. All one shots this time. Take Walker says, "I love Spirit Island, but everything about it just takes so long." Man, if only somebody made a video game out of it. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be pretty neat. I think the more familiar you go with Spirit Island, the faster it goes. But it does take a it's a fairly long game. All right, so we still know what Kash Buddha is. We know what Fnatic is. We don't know what other things are. Sorry, Fnatic and who? Fnatic and Akash. Uh... And we want them to be where they are. So pick something else besides that. You want more staffs of Ra. I like the staves. Um. All right. All right, so now your entry point, or now your... So Square Strength is doing more damage than Fire Blast. <laughs> Sorry, Ensnaring Brambles, but you're done. Oh, Thank wow. Thanks One for playing. Brambles. <laughs> That's gross. Oh, and two <laughs> entry points. He's plus two to his. <laughs> so. All right. Um, yeah, this, he's done for. 
Throw your staff. Yeah, I was gonna say the with. staff is gonna do more. Get out of here, Akash, with that yeah. weak sauce. Like, Paris is good for plus nine if she gets a turn. If I have Wrathful, that'll be it, but I don't think... Actually, Wrathful won't do anything because I, so I have so much health. Oh, yeah. I can do Smite the Transgressor, though. So then Paris can just do, like, a normal damage to kill her, probably. She's at seven. Can you do it? I feel like I probably can. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh. You got brambled. I got brambled. Yeah. You don't really need to rewind. The yeah, 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 it's fine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I get it. I don't even know that it's worth. Yeah. Whatever. Sure, whatever. Yes. Doesn't, yes. Doesn't We're shuffling the villain deck. I have done it. <laughs> Bramble. I'm going to go back to the well of the karate robot. I can play a concept, I can play a fragment. I'll just finish her off. I support that decision. The first hit of this card robot finished her off. That was pretty ridiculous for the heroes. <laughs> is anybody below I think Paris is slightly below full okay well like, it's pretty everyone's pretty close to full nice all right if we move quick we can do a third can so, we move quick speed run move... game yep speed run game no discussing of uh just play Baron Blade or something yeah I was gonna say run. we played Mad Bomber like, last week so we'll Baron play Blade. we're gonna do pick... two random heroes just play as fast as you can yeah. Good, I picked Tachyon as fast as I can. <laughs> All right, we're playing advanced. All right, and I've got, what did I get? I got Omnitron X and Chrono Ranger. Boom. All right, in Silver Gulch. Done. Do it. Let's make it happen. Start, start the timer. It is 8.33. Hey, Siri, start the st stopwatch. All right, uh, electroplating... Or excuse me, Electro Deployment Unit, Elemental Exo Chassis, Focus Plasma Cannon Singularity, Elbow Smash, Hack of Restoration, Punish the Weak, Tomoko. Whoops. Uh, Displaced Armory, Sudden Contract, Sudden Contract, Terrible Tech Strike. Ooh, I like that. Uh, a couple of Blinding Speeds, Hypersonic, and Sucker Punch. Start game. All right, Mobile Defense Flat, Mobile Defense, Mobile Defense Platform. Flat, <laughs> mobile Defense Platform. Mobile Defense Platform. All right, and we got a Power Remote Turret. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. Uh, me. Oh, yep. Okay. I like it. Yeah, no talking of strategy. Playing cards as fast as possible. That's that's this. It's, it's like speed chess in uh, Central Park. Punch the things. Punch, punch all the things. All right, I'm definitely gonna sudden contract. Uh, yeah, it's by any means the one that does it. Yep. 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 Good. All right, hit the thing. Hit the thing. Good. Pop. Your turn. <laughs> pop. 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 It's a lightning round, but Tempest isn't on the team. Yep, sorry. <laughs> it's not a literal lightning round. It is a figurative lightning round. 
All right, so stay in the portal. Damage, 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 damage. Oop, force field, not great. I can get rid of that. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna play a card. Play that. I'm gonna draw a card with the second one. Ooh, or reset. You get rid of it. I'm gonna reset. I'm not thinking. I'm just playing, John. We had this conversation already. Uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna do that. And then skip. Come on. Uh oh. Oh shoot. Oh no. Ah. Okay, sorry, my computer like froze for a second there. All right, kill that. I thought it was my dreaded um, UI freezes and must restart thing, which would have been no good for a stream. Gotta learn the keyboard commands, I'll go faster. Yep, that's probably true. Uh, yep, Tachyon, good. Oh yes, in play for sure. Elemental, Hawk of Shielding, Hunter Hunted. Fleet of foot. Yep, fleet of foot. Slip through that's time. The fastest, Savage mana. That's the fastest thing to play. <laughs> Quick insight. Synaptic, HUD goggles, Sonic Vortex. Hey, Sparky Wolf, welcome. Yep, we are playing our third game. Third quick game. Yeah, super quick game. We're like specifically not strategizing. We're just playing. John, of course, operates on a, another level where he is constantly um, strategizing. Uh, sure. Yep. I don't get to work. I don't. I don't work quite that well, but I feel like there's actually. I feel like there's an argument to be made that I will play better when I'm not thinking. Maybe we'll see. And we will find out at the outcome of this game. Where he's already down to 28, mm -hmm. despite his cool uh, foiliness that he has going on. Oh yeah, actually, I'll take this opportunity while it's John's turn to remind everybody that. It will be the Sentinels anniversary next week. It kicks off on Sunday. I will put the link to this in here. Remember, we got streams every night, Sunday through Friday. There's going to be cool discounts. We're going to be raising money for Child's Play Charity. You should check it out. You should, you should tell your friends who check it out. I'm Hypersonic Assault all the way. All right, we got a barrel and we got Tyler. Tyler shoots Baron Blade for us. Backlash field. Uh, yeah, let's play a card. I didn't even notice we were playing on advanced. <laughs> yep. <laughs> advanced it is. Uh, do I wanna, yeah, actually, these will both go off now, right? Yes, yep. they will. I love it. That's fine. Hypersonic, or er, hit me. I don't care. You're hypersonic. Uh, yep. And yep. Yeah, I'm definitely playing better than what I think. That's for sure. <laughs> so far, at least. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> all right, Haka. Make it happen. Good, good. What you can do with your cover now, Tyler? Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Do you believe that your strength or speed are in any way related <laughs> to your muscles in this place? I know I screwed that quote up, but it's pretty close. Yes, I need... I, yeah. The backlash field, that's your best friend. You'll leave backlash field just so you can hit him for five damage every time. 
Oh man, I get to do more? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. I know the first bit is wasted, but at least I get to do it more. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Hit things, hit things, hit more things. We are at seven minutes. I'd just like to point out. Man, Sparky Wolf, why you, why you gotta keep throwing the good, uh, are you trying to stump me? Because that's a Ghostbusters reference. I dare you. Find one that'll stump me. You get a power. No Crown Ranger, too bad. Temple event. That, could have, that would have been it if you had got the right cards from Crown Ranger. Oh my god, we're so close! We do it in under 10 minutes! Yeah, if he deals damage on his turn, you'll kill him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Boom! Eight minutes and 30 seconds. Oh, you actually started a timer! Nice work! Yeah. <laughs> there it is, folks. And look at that. We've got 13, 18, 3, and 14. Chrono Ranger's like, don't even care. <laughs> 3, 8, 3 HP? No, we need that backlash field. That, was, that helped us, because it let you use your power more. Man, we should do that more often. That was super awesome. I feel like speed runs are the way to go, for sure. That was the thing. We, yeah. I don't know if None Left is still doing it, but... Yeah, None Left was totally doing that. That was a thing way back when, like two years ago. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I don't know that we're going to do a fourth. That was fun mm -hmm. and all, but I feel like the odds of us doing a fourth and getting out of here before I have to catch my train is going to be tricky. No, that's so. fine. All right, excellent. Uh, so, right, so the things that I need to remind you of. Starting on Sunday... That is when the uh, anniversary event kicks off. The first live stream is at 7 p.m. Eastern. That is uh, Tales from the Archive with Zach. So, or uh, excuse me, another letdown. So please join us that evening. Um, there will be a fundraiser going for Child's Play Charity. There will be discounts and sales that kick off Sunday. Uh, Tuesday, Void Guard launches. Uh, so be sure to be ready for that. We're going to have live streams every night, Sunday through Friday. Uh, check out the anniversary page to see when those happen. I will post the link one more time just to make sure that one everybody knows. One more time. One more time. All right. So that's going to do it for another episode of Sentinels Live. Uh, Sentinels Multiverse is the only cooperative comic book card game that you should be playing. Forget about all those other. We're not playing the other card games anymore. Yeah, all those other cooperative comic book card games. Forget, put them in the shredder. Exactly. Like, literally shred your copies. <laughs> That's what you should be doing. Uh, thank you for joining us. We do this uh, pretty much every Tuesday at seven around, around 7 p.m. Eastern. If you enjoy the show, please do like, share, follow, and subscribe. Uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available on iOS, Android, and Steam, and always in good old analog cardboard and ink. Uh, you know, for those moments when the power goes out or your battery runs out. The shredder's not working then, so... Yeah. Uh, you can find more info and download the free demo at sentinelsdigital.com. I'm Jeremy. I'm John. Saying Thanks for watching. Saying goodnight from the multiverse. Thanks for watching. See you out there. Night, everybody. <laughs>